and it says to another prophecy and discerning of spirit so even that's a gift discern, be, being able to discern a spirit that's a gift right this person's a bit annoyed today this person's scheming this person's got demons on him oh that person he just said that that's what he's thinking right okay being able to read minds right and a lot of things in this truth i've been able to see particular things even before it happened even but even certain men that plot when they were plotting i was able to see that plot even before they were plotting and you just you look at it and be like okay okay a lot a lot of things right these are spiritual powers okay to another the diverse kinds of tongues speaking in different languages okay and to another the interpretation of tongues also interpret interpreting tongues also not just speaking in tongues, interpreting tongues. Different languages. Okay. But all these work of that one self same spirit. It's all to the working of the self same thing. Right? Dividing to every man severally as he will. See how much he's dividing to every man. So there's no room for what? Jealousy. Envy. Okay. For as the body is one and have many members, all the members of the body being many are one body, so is Mashiach. So it's one body. And it says all members. Right? For by one spirit are we all baptized into the body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be born or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. Right? For the body is not one member but many. Right? So if you see your body, what, you've got your fingers, you've got your knees, you've got your toes, you've got your ears, right? It all comes together. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not the body, it's therefore not the body. No, it's still a part of the body, it's still a functioning part of the body. Right? Okay. So the eye can't look at, baby, just a minute. Yeah, the air can't look at the eye and say, well, I can't see. No, but you can hear. Okay. That's what it's for. Okay. And if the air shall say, because I'm not the eye. So the air can't look at the eye and say, uh-huh. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the air. Okay, I can't hear, but you can see. Right? So you may have a blind man that's blind but he can hear right you may have a, a man that can see i must say you may have a man that can um that can see but that cannot see but he can hear and you may have a man that can that is deaf but he can see that's it right if the whole body were in the eye where were the hearing if the whole were hearing where were the smelling right but now I have the most I set the members, every one of them, right? In the body, right? So every member of the body, as it has pleased him, as it has pleased you have a shy. Right? Not us. And if they were all one member, where were the body? So if it was just one member, then you wouldn't have a body. Right? There's many. Okay. But now there are many members. Yet but one body. And you can the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again to the to thy feet. I have no need of you. You need your feet to walk. You need your toes. And not just your feet, your toes. Right? And if your small pinky toe was missing, you wouldn't be you would have no balance at all. None. Right? Nay, much more these, those members of the body. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of me. Nor again to the head or to the feet, I have no need of you. 
Nay, much more. Those members of the body, the weaker members, which seem to be more feeble are necessary. So the more feeble members of your body are the most important, your knees, right? You need your knees, you need your toes for what to balance so you can walk straight, right? So then feeble parts are the most important parts of the body. And those members of the body which we think less to be less more honorable, because they're, they're looked at as less honorable. We bestow. Morning. Morning. We bestow more honor. So yeah, we bestow more honor on what? Them smaller members that seem to be more feeble. And there's more honor upon those members. Right? Okay, we're going to shut off. We bestow abundant honor and uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. But our comely parts have no need, but the most I've tempered the body together, put it together, given more abundant honor. And that's how spiritual, because we were speaking on Ezekiel 37, right? More abundant, bear me just a minute, having given more abundant to honor that part which lacked. But there should be no schism and isms in the body, but the members should have the same care for one another. So that's how it's supposed to be, right? And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it, or one member be honoured, all the members rejoice with it. That's the right mentality to have, right? Because it's all a part of what a body. So with this lesson, I'll shut up here, and until the next time, okay? I want to say shut up to the hopeful and to Wadi Yahweh of Ashaya for giving me the energy and the spirit to get up, get out, and to teach this word. Until the next time, shut up.